right here is a box of six new fish for the 55 gallon over there. Now they will be going in the 3.5 gallon that I mentioned that I showed in the live stream the other night. So yeah, I did take off all the information, but the seller of this is um, Joe Gargas. That's his Aquabin name. I'm um, that was Aquatic Research Center or something. That's like his company or whatever. But so he does fish and like filters and stuff. So yeah. Um. Now these fish are breather bad. I don't know how to open this. And from what I can see, there's a. Uh, thank goodness there. Well, not like it's terrible if there wasn't, but there is uh, some uh, foam or, you know, whatever. Okay, so. The, these. This. Those two sides off. I got that side off. Okay. No, my sister is filming, so thank you to her. Okay. Box is open. Now, this is the. I don't know if I mentioned this. Say, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the first time I've ever ordered fish online. And look how great this shipping is. There's a box inside a box with like styrofoam. I'm pretty sure. Like this is like triple box, guys. You. If there's a place you want to order these fish from, it's this guy. There. Um. So there's a filter. There's. This just an angelfish, very pretty. I didn't get any of those two, so I didn't get any more angelfish, and I didn't get any distus since it wouldn't go along with my blood parrot. But I see specializing in angelfish and distus, but he does have uh, some other species. Okay, so I'm just, uh, hiding what I got over there and my address and my name. So then I'm gonna take that away, and then okay, and then we have this other sheet, which I think this is really cool that he includes papers. And stuff, so then see some information. So I do know how to raise these animals, but if I didn't, I'd be bad. All right, guys, uh, now to the um, boxing. All right, so just from the packing here, these fish are very picky if they are not alive. The normal priority shipping bots, then another box, and then what looks to be styrofoam box. Not what looks to be, I know it's a styrofoam box. But, and then, I'd see he used a lot of tape on this. I'm gonna have to cut it. Okay, guys. Ugh. So, happy right now. And nervous at the same time. Okay, so. That's off. Okay, now, here's the heat pack. Still warm. Oh, it's not like burning hot, but as you can see, sister. Still pretty warm, and as you can see, I'm gonna have to play that to do do later. And then, got um, this. It's it's not wet necessarily. If I would say anything, it's a little damp almost, but very minimal. But that could just be from when he shipped it first. Already. So I don't know what this fish is. It's one of the two. And it is alive! This is a German Blue Ram. And it is alive, I'm so happy right now. So, one out of six of the fish that I got is alive. Now there's one different and there's five rams. So, this one is alive and I'm super happy and she looks to be good. There's, uh, there's some, a little bit of poop in the bag, but he does feed them heavily, then fast them. So I'm excited about that. And these are the second generation Breather bats that he, uh, I don't know if he makes them, I'm, I'm not sure, but maybe he thought of them, I don't know, but he does, uh, use them and sell them. Okay, this one's alive, has a bit more color to it. So, like, this dude, he wants to get out too, like, <laughs> he's like swimming all over the place. But so, these fish were shipped priority mail, as you can see on that little box. So, right now, two out of everything is alive. And it's not like these things are held over. They came right on time. At first, USPS said they were coming on Saturday. But then they ended up coming on Thursday. And as you can see, another happy and alive fish. This one almost has a little bit yeah, more color. It has more red. Yeah, and a little bit of like turquoise. Um, so there's two, or three, three. Um, then throwing all this over there. 
Scooby is right there. Alrighty, there. There he was. Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, you're not at the off here. Um, the cat kind of likes to eat fish. So, um, yeah. Okay, guys. I'm guessing there's another ram, but it could not Oh, Stewie. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, oh, oh. oh it is Hi, a Alright, guys, so at first I was thinking this was a really pale German blue ram, but I actually just found out, not found out, but I was like, man, this doesn't look like a German blue ram, because this is my red shoulder, red head shoulder severum razor. So this is a severum. Now, um, Joe Gardas only ships, like, most fish, or at least, like, severums and distus and stuff, or maybe even angelfish too, at dime size, or, you know, so, quarter size, something like that. So, um, they ship much better, and as you can see, he is alive. He is fine. And we're just gonna put him over there. With all his buddies. We got two more fish. Now, these fish I know are German blue rams. So far, four out of six of the fish have been alive. And we actually do have one casualty, which it actually looks like he was a... He didn't die that long ago. No, but his water was a bit more cloudy, and as you can see, I would say he was well, almost one of the more pretty rams mm. when he was alive, but I'll contact him about this. Um, not that big of a deal. If he's alive, if this one's alive right here, then, um, I'll still have a, you know, a group of four. Then I can contact him and maybe he'll reach it. Now, this one is alive and it's actually quite pretty and anxious. So, honestly, out of one death isn't that bad, um, overall. Now, I'm going to, as you can see, that is a very beautiful Whoa. fish. Um, mm, mm. Stewie. Yeah, I'm going to be moving this. So, yeah, one casualty. As you can see. Um, his eyes are almost a little... No, nah, they're not faded out, but... Yeah, so, one casualty. I can't say exactly how long though the switch died. You can say the water is a bit more... Mer. Is a bit uh, dirtier than everyone else. It's a bit cloudier. Which... I don't know why that is. Um, but I will contact him about that, but, I mean, no big deal. Everyone's alive but that dude. So now, I'm just gonna move the precious cargo. Fifteen minutes since I did that little, uh, since I last stopped filming real quick. And that's because I, uh, emailed him two pictures of the fish still in the bath. Cause I got, I got the fish, like out from the mail, like, to, like, at, I'm at like fifteen twenty minutes after they've been left there. I do. So you know, it's not like I left them out there for two hours. So. And then I took a couple pictures of him, and he was still in the bed. So I, I when I was considering buying from him Aqua Bids a few months ago, I thought I saw a DO, DOA policy, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he doesn't refund. I don't know. What I do know is I'm going to do a plop and drop of these guys since they're not that cold. In this case, they're about the same time. So now I'm going to find a bucket and a net. Let's go. That's a nice color. I'm gonna do. Just gonna. Of course, the pneumonia toxifies once. I'm pretty sure, like, the pH is raised or whatever. So, just gonna wanna take this fish really quick and throw it in the new tape. Now, the temperatures are pretty similar. And yeah, I'm gonna get them started on a good diet. Not diet, but you know, food. That's one. Pretty nice look here. Now these are babies, so I'm probably gonna have to put a heater in there since they're pretty temperature sensitive. They're pretty everything sensitive. Um, but yeah, so. And I know I have a net here for a reason to net them with, but honestly, 
I can do it with my hand. I want to make sure that other one is happy in there. Where'd she go? Oh yeah, that other one is actually looking really nice. Well, it's already two bads of fishos. I'm going to do the Severum last. Not Severum, but Severum last. Some water filled up in this. It's crazy. Weird. Whatever. Um, so... I'll just tap the corner over here. But of course, you don't want to add in the water that the fish came in. It has a lot of waste in it. As you can see, this is just a truly beautiful fish right there. Beautiful, beautiful. And gotta make sure they're all just kicking. Oh yeah! All three actually look to be doing very fine. Now this is not the permanent tape. And of course, we're going to be doing all in the 55. Alrighty, so very nice looking right here. Um, I thought that I heard that pink bellies indicate that it's a female. So I'm hoping that the that I didn't just end up with females and that the one I lost was a male. Does that feel bad? Very much so. You can see a very beautiful fish. Very, very nice. Of course, you don't want to leave them out of water too long. And what I'm on, I can see all four are doing good. I have a little Sith Lake cave in there and a little bamboo plant. Plant, 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 and um, some moss ball. So here's the serum. Here's the dude that I am really happy came alive since there were five of the. There were five of the rams, and one died, but I'm glad that a ram died instead of these, these, instead of this Severum, since I am so stoked for the Severum. Oh man, I love them. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's a fact or people think, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure, um, the blood parrot was mixed, that was made by a Severum and maybe like something like the Red Devil. Some, no? I don't know. And then, so... He's a feister. Feister? What? I can see. Very, very beautiful fish. Oh, man. Very, very beautiful. No, I'm just gonna plug in this. He's sticking to my hand. There! He was sticking to my hand. How come they're all by the bottom of the tank? Nah, yeah, they're just stressed. So, I mean, when he. There's, there's very little pressure in back. <laughs>